thank you for uh, saying a few words in Tamil during your NDR speech. Um, I hope I got the pronunciation correct. You did. You, <laughs> it was right. <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, my question for you is that um, there's a lot of um, focus or mention about reset of policies. Uh, in that, are there any non-negotiable policies where we can't reset? Some, some of the policies or ideals that have formed uh, the foundations or the bedrock of uh, how Singapore was built so far. That is one. Second question, um, uh, before stepping down as PM, uh, Mr. Lee actually uh, mentioned in his last interview uh, about the issue of integration in the Indian community. So in particular, he was mentioning about the assimilation between the local Indians and the naturalized citizens. Um, in what ways will you be looking at uh, you know, in addressing this issue? Mm. Thank you. On the first question, what is sacrosanct, what will not change? I would say not so much policies, but underpinning, but the, the core principles and values underpinning the policies. Multiracialism is one policy. Meritocracy, I mean, it not, is, is one key principle. Multiracialism, meritocracy. Um, these are very fundamental principles. Incorruptibility. Right? These fundamental principles and values cannot be compromised. But how these principles are manifested in policies, well, the, you can have a debate. You know, is this the best way to go about upholding multiracialism? Is this the best policy to go about upholding meritocracy? Or perhaps has it led to inadvertent consequences where people feel very stressed where, or you lead to um, you know, a sense of elitism or entitlement perhaps, well, then we can discuss how should the policy change, how should we uh, improve. So it's really differentiating between the core principles and values as opposed to the manifestation of them in policies which we will always uh, be prepared to review our assumptions to see what can work better. Local and new arrivals, right? Uh, the, we, this is work in progress. Uh, I think all communities, almost all, not, but uh, the Indian community, the Chinese community, you, particularly there will be issues where uh, integration comes up and we know that these, these issues do arise and we will continue to engage all the different groups. Um, our, our starting point is that we must remain an open society we welcome all who come here and are prepared to embrace our values and our way of life. Uh, so there are house rules. It's not just anyone comes, but there are house rules. We control the flow and we bring them in. At the same time, we, uh, we as Singaporeans must do our part to be big-hearted, gracious, generous, and welcome them as part of the Singapore family. There will always be frictions from time to time that arises from these sorts of interactions. But over time, as the new arrivals come in, adjust to our way of life, as their children go through our school system, the sons do national service, they become Singaporeans like our forefathers did. So I think this must continue to be our ethos as a society of immigrants, as a nation of immigrants, and, and we just have to keep on working hard at managing such integration matters.